Sorry, don't Polly. Along the sideline at the Colorado Rapids practice field. Pretty big thing. Sits a nine-year-old soccer ball. Yeah. Yeah, they do it 20 times every day. Marco Babic has his favorites. Connor, Casey, or Pablo? He's been a fan of Pablo Mastroni since his what? father told him about him uh, a few years back. My dad thinks I'm as fast as him. No, not really, but he, he thinks I'm as good as him, so. Pablo, an Argentinian-born soccer player. He's played so long. Actually grew interest in the sport around the same age as Marco. Nice to meet you, Pablo. <laughs> What's your Marco name? Babic. What's it? I'm Mark Babbitt, and I'm a writer for the Stippleton Front Porch newspaper. Awesome, man. For about 15 minutes, Marco yeah. picked Pablo's brain. So, number one, when did you start playing soccer? I started playing soccer when I was five years old. He had a chance to ask him about his early years and his inspiration. I told my dad that I want to grow up one day and play for the United States. Yeah. In 2002, he got his shot. Found a way to get to the quarterfinals. When the coach from Team USA gave him a call. The reason he selected me was because of my hard work, and more importantly, when you have 23 players in a locker room, you need guys that are going to get along with everyone. And uh, I, I fit that bill, so. Then again, in 2006, he got to play again after spending four years on a national team. I was pretty much a mainstay at the time. Cool. Now as the captain of the Colorado Rapids, Pablo has a lot of time to reflect on his World Cup experience. How did you feel representing the U.S. on the world stage? Uh, it's truly one of the greatest feelings uh, one can have. If you ask Pablo and Marco who their favorites are, they'll tell you the U.S. first and then this. Uh, I just like... Uh, Argentina, the way Argentina plays. In the end, Pablo and Marco have a mutual favorite team in Team USA, but we'll be keeping a close eye on Argentina. For NAHJ, this is Paul Barron.